So in the last video we discussed that after adding a new department and getting the success message and after closing the model window we were not able to see the results instantly right we had to refresh the entire page to see the the updated list of departments so in this video what we're going to try to do is after adding the department and on click of the close button we are going to refresh this particular uh, data table okay i mean the the mat table okay so let's go back to department service and uh, add some so this is some workaround that i have figured it out and uh, i i effort stack overflow on something and other and other uh, websites to you know to figure this thing out there may be a better way better implementation than this but this thing works out so i'll just uh, demonstrate how we can do that so we have to import something called subject from uh, rxjs okay and then we're gonna write a couple of methods to you know get executed when we click the close button right so we'll say private listeners equal to new subject of type any okay we're gonna have a couple of methods here listen and we'll say observable any and then inside this we'll say return I'll return this dot listeners dot as observable okay and there's another method that we have to write is filter so filter by which is equal to which is a type string and then we'll say this dot underscore listeners dot next filter by okay so we have to call this thing on click of close button so that it will return the you know uh, the the event okay the event so uh, let's get back to the add department component so let's go back to the add department component and um, what we have to do is on click of close we have to call this filter method and pass a string right then we know that the close is initiated and then we're going to refresh the grid so i'll say this dot service dot filter and we'll pass something called registered register click so click okay now what we're going to do is we have to go to the show department dot ts and ref and add the method in in the constructor okay so we have to write something like this we'll say this dot service dot listen okay so we'll say dot subscribe so that it will always try to uh, if there is any event or any string then we have to execute we have to refresh the list right so subscribe we'll say m any it goes inside what we have to do is is we have to write here we'll do a console dot log the event okay and also we have to refresh the department list and that's it so let's see if that thing works let's go back to the screen and verify 
I'll say we have these many values. So we'll add a new value dev123. Okay, we'll add dev123, dev1234 maybe. I'll click on add department. So we have added successfully and okay. I'll click on close now. Now, without having to refresh, we have to see the updated list. We'll click on close and we can see that we have the updated list ready. Okay.